the last page is the poem by Marge Piercy, 1973, To Be of Use. Since I was raised a socialist and I certainly see the problems in this world, my life is really to be of use. We need to be of use. In terms of how the book evolved, I have been an avid listener of Pacifica since I grew up in New York with WBAI, KPFA in California. Flashpoints is an excellent daily investigative show. Dennis Bernstein is an excellent interviewer. He was asking for people to transcribe his interviews. I volunteered. He then asked me to edit a book of his interviews, which became a five-year project. Was there a particular part of his interview style or what he did that captured your interest and desire to do this? Well, certainly the politics. He is left, and there's less and left of real deep analysis from the left. He also, I think, is the best of the interview genre. It's candid, it's fresh, it's colloquial, and he brings the best out in people. I, I am a true lover now of the interview genre. There's something fresh and honest about it. It's not pre-recorded. You're just doing it at the moment. So it was an honor that he asked me to edit a book of his interviews because they are very, very thought-provoking. Good, and it gives you a sense of this experience that we're having right now, which, Absolutely. Is, which is another one. Okay, give us your sense of some of the highlights. What, what, what were some of the programs that Dennis did that you have also put in this book that you think are the best in some sense of what, of what was done? A little bit more about the interview genre. Again, he brings out the best in people. Um, so I got many, many interviews to work with, and it broke down into nine subject areas, um, which include surveillance, class, race, gender, imperialism, immigration, Palestine, and ends with the planet, because frankly, if we don't have a planet, there's really nothing left. Because it was such a long project, it came out under Trump. There are 66 interviews. The book came out under Trump, but all 66 interviews happened under Obama, a first black president who offered hope and change and really didn't deliver. So I call the book both a reality check on Obama, who is becoming sanitized, and the writing on the wall for how we got here. So I could give you a few little excerpts from some of my favorite interviews. Be okay. my guess. A few little excerpts. And again, let's remember these were all under Obama. Okay, Mara Verheiden Hilliard, who is an attorney with Partnership for Civil Justice. The Tea Party was having rallies across the U.S. where they were openly carrying weapons. Some rallies were outside where the president of the U.S. was speaking. But what does the FBI do? They are going after the nonviolent peaceful Occupy movement. Okay, Shahid Buttar, First Amendment Coalition. The Obama administration is already our nation's far and away most aggressive anti-press administration. More national security whistleblowers faced prosecution in the last five years than in the entire preceding 225-year history of the republic. 